Guys, good morning. So here's part two of uh, the Terry Shannon collection and interview. Enjoy. And the ring itself is so ornate. I've never seen it like that. That's, it's, is it set in silver? It is set in silver. Or is it white gold? Uh, five, I'm not sure. It could be white gold. I mean, no, I it's silver. It's silver. Was is it silver? It? Yeah. I don't remember. Wow. That's so pretty. Just the well, that's grandma's like said, grandma gave it to you and it's passed the down through the family. The ring itself, you know, is just so ornate. It's just gorgeous. I love how thick the band is. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it's decorated the whole way around. Spectacular. Did you show that the ring that was mine cut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, here's a picture of that ring. See the stone? You know, the stone is so small, it's hard to tell, but that, yeah. that is the stone. stone in there. That's crazy. And you wouldn't be able to tell, I mean, obviously nowadays with the technology yeah. that they have to cut the diamonds, right? This. This was found the same day I found my first Spanish koi. Here's the first Spanish koi I ever found, and I found that right out in front. There's a ship here, and it's a dated 1701. That's gorgeous. I yeah, love two, the. I had I had Steve. Yeah, I yeah. love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'll have to get Steve's card because when I get one, I'm going to do the same thing and put it on a necklace for sure. Well, he found the chain too. <laughs> yeah. The okay. chain is 27 inches that's, long. That's gorgeous. You should wear one. I, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I, I it's 10 karat gold and it's got the white gold trim. Yep. Yeah, it looks almost like a diamond crusting. It's, yeah, that's and it's cute. 27 inches long. And we went into Zales Jewelers and they had one that was 22 inches long. And it was just like this, only it didn't have the white gold trim. Right. And like I said, 22 inches long, and they had it on sale for $1,100. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. So he Retail. he's got bucks when he wears that around his neck. Yeah, that's, <laughs> and, and listen, you, no, I don't want to say it, but we're, we're running out of time with our dollar bill. Oh, yeah. So gold is definitely going to be valuable to to us if we want to eat here in the future, unfortunately. Or there's going to be a one world currency soon. Yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful savings account. You know, this yeah. isn't all the rings I've got. This is the one. No, no, I've seen a pile on a table yeah. That, yeah. That from the video, right? You have a yeah. whole table full with a huge pile. So yeah, yeah. this is spectacular, guys. That's beautiful. Amazing. Are you interested in Spanish? Right? You found all these? Yeah. You know, there's a couple in here that I found that um, uh, this this one is, is fake. The guy gave me this one. This one is fake. It's, it's not. It's a silver, but it's made. And then there's a couple that I found that. Um, were hidden in a, in a club hunt. Other than that, I found them all. You know. Um, after I saw, I'm not sure. I saw a video where somebody came up and said, "Look, I found a a cob." After I saw that, I I had hot flashes because of how much metal that I've thrown away. Oh yeah. That I'm like I found hundreds of these pieces that I probably should have looked at a little bit closer. They're they're, they're just on this one here. I could make out the cross in the front. Right. In the back, I couldn't make out anything. I gave a talk at a club the other day and cleaned it to show. To but you know how many pieces of iron look just the same, exactly. uh, identical exactly. to that. I'm, I'm writing in a second book, and I was just I added that, you know, these are fake nails. Right. You know, it's a little bit about that. And here's what the iron that everybody thinks is a... Is a um, yes. So this, and I've thrown hundreds of pieces of this stuff away right and then i'm like i don't know man maybe i've, I've thrown away a cob or two <laughs> well we, we've got a saying if you don't know don't throw <laughs> right <laughs> it's a pretty good saying you know, yeah i'll keep i'll keep them where was that piece future. that i found right there oh is that it mm -hmm. 
Just laying on the beach, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I find them laying on the beach. That's a good sign, though, when they're laying on the beach. You definitely want to be detected in that area. Well, not that I had to bring it home. I had. But I found that, that pendant mm -hmm. and the uh, two crowds from one of the wings and, and that other 1500 ring. And I also found this. And this is something you just don't find on the beach. It's a sounding weight. You know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, this one isn't finished. They don't have the hole in there. Right. But they have uh, on the bottom, it, it's depressed. See, what they did is they used to fill that with tallow. You know, and as they, you know, they use it to mark the uh, depth. Okay. The guy in front of the ship, you throw it out and they mark. And what's interesting, they use these on the Mississippi a lot. Okay. And, and they use a different language. So, like on five, it would be twain. Okay. And so the guy was up there and he's throwing it, Mark Twain. You know, okay. And the writer that's Mark cute, Twain, that's where he got his name from. Uh, that is he awesome. Was riverboat captain. The guy you guys getting that history? How cool is that? Yeah. A little but history lesson. This is kind of interesting. I, I dipped it in wax. I got too much. I got to redo it. But that's just a, you know, a clump. But normally you clean them. And, uh, but this I think is a kind of cowboy belt buckle. These are uh, sinker, right? Sinker weights. Yep. These are lead weights. See, these are from a lead. Net, our net weights. Are right. Net weights. And so it's just so interesting. I, I'm just not going to clean. But. Yeah, that's it. And I'm lucky even more because I have at the house before my mom just sold her house. I had like this. I'll, I'll get a clump of uh, metal with the tree coming out of it or whatever. There'll be a little branch or a tree, and it's just so interesting. Just stuff that we keep as detectorists. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, there's something in here, and it reads up real loud, you know. But there's a deal, uh, I don't know, if, have you ever heard of the uh, wraparound effect? No. Okay, what, what, it, what it is, a wraparound effect, like on your old detectors, like the, my lab's uh, Explorer and mm -hmm. stuff, they had in the real top right hand corner, had it notched out. Okay. And it would not pick up silver dollars. And see, when you get, get up to that, say a silver dollar would read a 30. Right. When you get up to 34, you're back in the iron again. Okay. You know, so I, I don't know. I can't ex explain it, but I, I know. So, like, if you get a target and you get that low tone mm -hmm. and then a high scream pitch, it's iron. It's going into that wrapper on the mm -hmm. And, like, a, a small piece of iron, your detector will probably, or your detector will melt off. Right. But a large one is going to make a sound. And it's that deep thing, but it's the wrapper on effect that it goes over and starts picking it up again. Oh, okay. You know, well, and that's great information. Do you prefer salt water or do you like the rivers better? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I love it down here. I mean, I, I am living every man's dream. Mm -hmm. I, I really am. And, and uh, we just love it. But on that river up in North uh, up in Minnesota, it's the Otter Tail River. I grew up as a kid on that river. Right. I was playing on that river when I was a kid, and here I am, almost 80 years old, still playing in that same river. That yep. river is very special. Well, you found that one summer, was it? When I first started there, I was averaging uh, 80 to 100 rings every year. Yeah. Wow. I did that for like four or five years. How are the rings getting deposited? Are they coming down on uh, uh, tubers. In, they inner tubes? They float down on inner tubes. Oh, okay. And, and, but and dragging and their hands in the water. A bunch, oh, see, that, that's gold? what the Black Hills gold, Black okay. Hills from South Dakota. That's spectacular. It almost looks a rose gold color. Yeah. It is a rose color. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And they're, they're, the leaves are always 12 carat. You know, the ring will be 10 carat, the leaves are, are 12. And, and That's gorgeous. Yeah, I've got a bunch that of these. Yeah. And you've only, how long have you, you've only been doing this 15 years? Yeah, about 15, yeah. That's, it, it, people have been doing it their whole life and don't have this kind of collection, right? So me, I did 227 rings last year, 47 were gold. I, I had a pretty good year for my first full-time year of doing this. Um, now I'm probably gonna cut back because I want, I'm from Vermont originally, so the Revolutionary War and the history behind a lot of this stuff is, is what I want to teach a little bit about. Um, so Ethan Allen, there's a, a trek that he did from Fort Ticonderoga into the Green Mountains. So there's, you know, I'd love to eventually have a show on the Discovery or History Channel. Can I tell you another story? Okay, this, I found this at a Spanish coin down here at Ponce de Leon. You know? mm -hmm. I, and, and this is a pewter spoon handle, you know. Okay, I was watching a video from Vermont, and the guy at Green Mountain Metal Detectors. Yep. Okay. Right. He, yeah, and he found, uh, and it was in his tr trash, but a identical.
spoon handle, and he found a gold Spanish coin. At the same time, my coin, Spanish coin was silver, his was gold. Right. But what are the odds? I'm on the beach out here. I find this spoon, and Brad finds one up in Vermont. It's exactly. crazy the and history then, so, of where yeah, people have been. Deos had us on a, a podcast, so they had him on and me, mm -hmm. on, and we talked about this. That's thing. awesome. I mean, I love Brad. He obviously uh, puts out really good content, right? He yeah. creates everything himself. He, he's a musician to where he can put in the... Here's some more with Black Hills Gold. Wow. I love that orange tint to that. That's spectacular. And this one has a stone in it. That's gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. This is just, well, I got this tray because I give talks and that stuff. Right. And I, uh, here's an interesting thing right here. Uh, and I, I found this one a couple days ago, about a week ago. That's how I hurt my knee, finding that one. <laughs> but I, I did it, and the bank was cut maybe 10 feet. And I went through this guy's yard. I, you know, he gave me permission to go through his. In fact, I had to go through his garage even. To right. Get and I dropped down. Well, then when I wanted to leave, I had to dig my way out. And so I'm digging with a scoop, making steps coming up. And when I got out, I could hardly walk back to my. And that's, uh, you know, that's. That's spectacular. Here, here's an interesting thing. This is a um, when I found this is a totally green, and I think it's handmade, and I think it's probably an old slave bracelet or something like that. Right. You know, uh, to mark your slave. Yeah, they, they um, uh, when the Spanish started taking. I might have to edit that part out because they don't want any history about stuff like that anymore in oh, the okay. world. No, no. <laughs> no, no just yeah. a, just a little humor. No, it's just a little humor for my for my viewers because <laughs> we're getting so uh, cancel oh. culture is just unbelievable. We're not going to know who the presidents are anymore because they just don't want us. Because the president might have owned a slave, they don't want to talk about the president anymore so they're canceling history all together and you know what happens when you cancel history you, you should learn from your history we're not learning from no that you repeat and we should it. be turning over a better world to our children than we inherited and we're not you know no. they're, they're canceling a lot of the uh, editions of dr seuss because it may offend somebody yes you is know, that unbelievable you get away with it but i put if i offend you i'm really in deep trouble yes. you know, it's just ridiculous yes it's getting out of control is is what it is and it and this administration's 50 days in where gas is up a dollar already so i pray for our country i really do i i mean i'm a I'm a Democrat because I believe in democracy, but I flip-flop according to the better piece of garbage that we've got to elect, right? So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just confused because I want to get into politics because I'm the only guy. You could offer me a billion dollars and I wouldn't hurt anybody. So, I kind of know that I, I'm feeling that I want to get involved in politics so that I can kind of try to get involved to save our country. Because there aren't people like me that can't be bought. I just can't be bought. There's, there's no, no amount of money you can give me to, to be corrupt in, in a society that's going to affect the I was ran. I was a county sheriff. That's an elected position. And I was very popular up there. And I was going to, in fact, the governor called me and asked me to, you know, to run. And I think I, you know, I joined the shrine because I went, and the masons, you know, as a political background. And then I decided I just didn't want to live the life. I'm not into compromise. It's right or it's wrong. Right. You know, and, and, and this, if I uh, got one thing I'm supporting, and you got something you're supporting, he will vote for me, and I'll vote for you. I don't want to do that. You do the right thing. Correct. And and that's you know that's. Yeah, it's happened. falling apart. We're, we're, I say that chivalry stops at my age. I'm 47. I still hold doors for people behind me if they're coming in. I'll lean back and hold doors, and I won't let it bother me when they walk through, without saying thank you. They don't even look anymore. It's like you're supposed to do that for them, and they walk through with that without any gratitude at all. I, I continue to do it, with, even with the world falling apart the way it is. When we were dating, that was one of the things that impressed me about him, <laughs> was he would open the door for me, and like even the car door. That's that's <laughs> awesome. I love hearing. How long have you guys been married? Uh, going on 62 years. Unbelievable. Isn't that something? You know, what a great love story. Yeah, well, I got it right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a great love story. I'm still looking for that. And, I mean, I've had a couple that I probably should have stayed with. But, uh, yeah, I've never been married. I have two children. 
He just turned 30 the 15th, and she's 22. So. Well, what's funny is I was 17 and he was 18, and he was leaving to go to the Navy. Okay. And we decided we wanted to get married first. Vietnam? No, no. Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. I was down at the Bay of Pigs, right after the Bay of Pigs, in the, okay. in the box aid. Well, this was in 1959. Okay. And so we got married in our church, and there was another couple that got married the same age as we were in our church. And after that, the minister got up and said he'd never marry anybody that young again. And I said, I wonder how many older couples, because they were still married until he passed away a couple years ago. Right. That's awesome. Did you, did you see some of the displays that I was making? Now, these, I can't write in there. But like this here is a silver cross. I didn't clean it. And that was right. on right out in front here. And and, that's, and the bottom there, there's a candle. That means the light of Christ. The natives, that's what the Spanish were trading with the natives. And this is another Spanish coin. These are fishing weights. These are latches off the ship. That's and this amazing. is a lead bottle cap on one of their rings. And, and of course, the muscle ball. These are visual points. Is that like a megalodon tooth? Yep, and maybe, oh, that's my sad story. I, you know, I hadn't found a, a Spanish coin, you know, and I'm down at um, Treasure Shores. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm, it was after the hurricane, year after the hurricane, I'm way back in the dry sand. That was laying right on top. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I picked it up, and I showed it to this guy by the name of Reggie. He was a detective. And he said, where, where did you find it? So I pointed over where I got it. And I was over there detecting. That's what I was doing when I found it. Right. I just seen it. See? And he goes over there, and he comes back with a Spanish two real. Right oh. where I was. You know? Nice. And, <laughs> and I hadn't found it. So he gave it to me. And at that time, I had the, the Mind Lab uh, Explorer. Mm -hmm. you know, I did, did the reading. So I put it down. I got the reading. About a half hour later, I'm right down by the water. And I get that identical reading. And I have a little Walmart shovel that I bought. That's what I was using to recover, see. And I'm digging this hole, and the waves are coming in, and I've got my stick up there, and I got it out. You know, and just then this great big wave come in, and it come right back. I could see it, and I was just stunned. If I'd have just stepped on it, I'd have got it. Right. But it went right back down the hole. Oh, my goodness. And I never got it. I dug and dug and dug, and the next day I had my first scoop. My and goodness. So I just moved. I went out farther. Yep. And it platinum. You know, so I've been... And another thing, like in the old Sovereign, you know, bottle caps, very distinct. I mean, you couldn't mess them. So, you, you just said something. I've, so I'm a big guy, right? Uh, I, I get upset because it's almost like a golf etiquette. Look, if you see that I'm in a line and I'm in this top, top sand line, don't go 100 yards in front of me and then go down the same line. There's so much more beach to go. You could even drop down to the mid-tide line or drop down to the low-tide line. But if you see me on one single line and you jump in front of me, I'm going to put you on camera. I'm going to come up and ask you, like, hi, I'm Derek. What's your name? I introduce myself on camera to make them feel like I want to hear your explanation of why you just jumped in front of me instead of why you didn't you go back to the, the quarter mile of beach behind me. So what do you do? You just said you just move out of the way and don't let it bother you. You don't look like much bothers you anymore uh, it, it doesn't bother me but it, I, I shouldn't say that it does bother me right but i just consider the source and i'm going to beat him anyway I'm gonna, you know. there you go guys take that note like it doesn't matter who's in front of you you just slow down slow your swing down listen for deeper targets and you're still going to find a lot of stuff i gave a talk at a cub last year and the guy of course asked me where did you find it i was holding up something and I said, when you ask a fellow where he found something on the beach, what you're doing is you're asking him to lie to you. <laughs> you know, deer yeah. hunting. Deer hunting was the same way. Where'd you see that buck? <laughs> oh, it was down in the swamp and it was up on the mountain. <laughs> and and uh, I, I have no problem, you know, telling people, if somebody comes up and says, where do you find it? I'll probably tell them. Right. You know, and, and the reason for it being is it's, it was good when I was there, but the next day someplace else is going to be better. One, you just said it, one tide. One tide transfer. And that's why, for some reason, I always find the hole at the end of my day. It's eight hours. I've done all day long. And then I find the sweet spot. And then you don't want to leave because you know it's a one tide cycle. You could come back tomorrow and it's completely gone. Or you could come back tomorrow and it's really open. So you definitely want to go back and check the hole the, the next day. But. No question. Like this last one, I got a three-day swing. Yep. So he was cutting down about six, seven inches, you know, 
three solid days. Yep. You know, and, and I did well. I did really well. Well, we're weathermen, too. The, the better guys are really weathermen. You're like... Uh, a north wind pulls the beach out in this direction, and a south wind pulls the beach out in this direction. I was, I was trying to talk about that. Like on some of the popular beaches, you get what looks like a scallop effect in mm -hmm. the beach, you know. And if you're getting a north wind, you know everything is going to be found on the south side of that scallop. And if you're getting a south wind, you're going to find more stuff on the north side of the scallop. And actually, what I do when when I've got a huge beach, I can't cover the whole beach. So what I'll do is I'll cut just a scallop. I walk around the ridge. Yeah, so I got, because I, I like to speak in layman's, right? I called them swirls one day. And a guy says, I don't know what I'm talking about because I called them swirls. So they're embayments and cusps. And this guy made a video to where they're called cusps and embayments. And uh, so you've got to deal with some comments, right? People think that they're better than you or whatever. Me, I always learn and listen to everything. If a six-year-old just said something to me, I'm like, wow, that's... That's interesting. I never thought about it that way. So, I love I've learning. Never, I've never heard that expression. But I've written two books now. Yep. They've been really well received. Those books wouldn't be nearly the books that they were if it wasn't for my friends. I had a friend that designed the cover for me. I had a guy that put it together. Another guy that corrected my spelling. I tell everybody when I had English in high school, that's when I discovered girls. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Guys, I want to say thank you to Terry, Shannon, and Jean. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I appreciate your hospitality. Thank you, Terry. Your collection is unbelievable. Guys, please do me a favor. Go to TerryShannon.com and purchase his book. Listen, he actually has two books. This one and this one. Do me a favor and purchase them. Best $20 you'll ever spend. I mean, they're good reads. Um, I've scanned through. I've actually seen this one before. And... Uh, his latest one talks, you know, a lot about his passion about the, the otter tail. Um, I really appreciate this. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. Uh, love you. Thanks. I'll talk to you later.